programmers, we're going to talk about dynamic memory allocation in C today. So here I have a program with some question marks because I'm, um, I'm not sure exactly what to put in it as the size of my array. My goal is to have a program that has an array of student grades with one grade for every student in the class. Um, and then I'm going to ask how many students are in the class and right around on this line, I'm going to read in from the user and figure out how many students are in the class. But I'm not going to know until this point in time how many students there are. So one strategy might be I could just hard code a value. And if I hard code the fact that there are 10 students in this class, then maybe they'll type in a number three and I can just use the first three um, the first three items in this array and the rest will just be wasted space. So I could say, well, the first student gets 100 and then the second student in there gets uh, 78.9 and then the third student, and I could do this in, a, in an array instead of hard coding it, but I am just gonna hard code it. So this would be one strategy um, if I can figure out what the number of students are and then loop through uh, that many times to fill in those student grades. But this strategy will leave some wasted space if they give me a number of less than 10 students. So, well, what's another strategy? Well, I could, I could do a smaller number here and say, well, there's just three students. And this works unless they type in a number that's bigger than three and all of a sudden your program's not gonna work for that number of students. So instead, we're gonna try another strategy and that is dynamic memory allocation. So at the point in time where I have to define the variable, I'm just going to define it as a pointer to a float. And I do that by putting a star after a float. Doesn't matter if your star um, hugs the variable or if it hugs uh, the uh, data type. Either one of those, those are the same. Um, so, but anyway, I'm going to say student grades at this point in time, I know they're going to be floating point numbers, but I don't know how many there are. And after we read in this num from the students, uh, typing in to say how many students there are, now we can set this equal to something. So we're gonna set it equal to, and now we need to reserve some space and memory so each student has room for a floating point grade. And the program we're gonna do, or the function we're gonna do for that is malloc. It will dynamically allocate memory, and we have to tell malloc how much memory. So we know the number of students and we know that each grade is a float. So we can figure out the size of a float times the number of students and that's how much memory we want to allocate. And malloc works for all allocating all sorts of memory for floats, for ins, for chars. So it'll return a void pointer. We could just cast that to an integer pointer. So now we have student grades. It's not just a normal variable, instead it's a pointer. So I'm gonna do a little for loop. I'm gonna create another variable. So I can say for x starts out at zero while it's less than the number of students. We wanna keep going through here and filling in our student grades. And how would we do that? Well, we've got a pointer so we need to dereference that pointer. You can do that by putting a star in front of the variable that is a pointer, and that'll be looking at what this pointer is pointing to. And we can say, well, I want to give it a value. Right now, it's just pointing to memory with nothing that we've uh, nothing that we've come up with in that spot in memory. So now we can, let's just give every student 100 just to make the program easy and it'll also make the students really happy. And then we want to increment the pointer. So I'll set student grades, I'm gonna add one. And then the next time through the loop, I'll be talking about that next student. Okay, there are some, some problems with this program, but it is a good start for dynamically allocating memory. Let me just make sure it compiles. And, oh, um, my memory wasn't an integer, it was a float, so that, was, that wasn't a good cast there. Let me 
go back up into here. This cat in front of me. And change this to a float. And that should fix that compile error. And now there's three students and it should go through the grade and give the three students grades, but we don't have any other print statements. So that's all we see here.